Peroxisomes are also known as microbodies. They're organelles which are found free-floating in the cytoplasm of animal and plant cells. The reason they're called peroxisomes is because they produce hydrogen peroxide. They're about 0.1 to 1 micrometers in diameter. Their role is to break down organic molecules by the process of oxidation to produce hydrogen peroxide, which is then converted into oxygen and water. Within the peroxisome, there's about 50 enzymes and they're all separated from the cytoplasm by this lipid bilayer single membrane. This acts as a barrier. The enzymes in peroxisomes break down long chain fatty acids by the process of oxidation. If these long chain fatty acids were left to accumulate, then they could start to damage certain structures like the myelin insulation sheath surrounding nerve fibers in the brain. That's why they tend to break them down before they start causing damage. These long chain fatty acids are broken down to the chemical acetyl-CoA, and this produces a large amount of metabolic energy, which is utilized by the rest of the cell. The main chemical which is produced by this oxidation is hydrogen peroxide, which is very cytotoxic. It's toxic for the cell. However, the peroxisomes also produce the enzyme called catalase, which helps to break down this hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. It's also been noted that in animal cells, cholesterol and dolicol are synthesized by peroxisomes as well. In the liver, peroxisomes are also involved in the synthesis of bile acids, which are derived from cholesterol. Peroxisomes also contain enzymes which are required for the synthesis of plasmalogens. Plasmalogens are important membrane components in some tissues, in particular the heart and brain. They're not present in all tissues. 